Hi, I'm Helen and I'm on the ACARA team reviewing the Australian curriculum, The Arts. The overall aim of the review is to improve the Australian curriculum from foundation to year 10 by refining, realigning and decluttering the content of the curriculum. In particular, we're working to create a clear structure for learning in the arts to make the curriculum relevant for all Australian teachers. We want classroom teachers to feel confident about including arts learning in their programs and for specialist teachers to feel confident they are focusing on what is most important for students to learn. We're also focused on improving the quality of the content descriptions and achievement standards. With the arts, we consulted with a wide range of experts, including academics, professional associations, practicing artists, educators working in organizations such as galleries, museums, and arts program providers. We hosted gatherings of critical friends groups for each of the arts subjects to discuss issues and possibilities. We included in our research, recent papers and publications that focus on directions in arts curriculum in Australia. We reviewed the approaches to the arts in other countries and systems, and we considered feedback from ACARA's annual jurisdictional monitoring reports. We listened to specialist and classroom teachers who shared their experiences in implementing the arts curriculum in many different contexts, with different levels of resourcing and levels of experience. We've established two arts reference groups, one comprising teachers, and the other made up of curriculum officers from across Australia. These reference groups have helped guide and inform the review. We also had a separate reference group with primary school expertise. They have been able to give feedback on the manageability of the curriculum, looking across all the learning areas at specific year levels or bands. Our research led us to identify some key areas where the arts curriculum could be improved a clear structure to organise the learning area, ensuring that essential content is included in ways that provide teachers with flexibility to implement the curriculum in ways that meet the needs of their students using available resources, and to be more inclusive, recognising that every student brings different interests and experiences to their arts learning, and to ensure that the arts curriculum is open and free from bias that the arts curriculum better represents the voices of First Nations Australians in using art to communicate stories, responsibility and connection to country place, and to strengthen the role of the arts in celebrating and challenging ideas and perspectives, and recognise the importance of developing and emerging arts practices and industry directions in the curriculum. And so, we've proposed the following for the arts curriculum. Firstly, we have identified core concepts that underpin all learning in the arts and position students at the centre. We have named the four strands that organise the content in the learning area. We reduce list of elements and jargon in the content descriptions to ensure that essential learning across the stages of the creative process is articulated clearly. We have developed content descriptions that connect directly to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures cross-curriculum priority and have provided sets of elaborations to support each of these content descriptions. We have provided specific learning area content for the foundation year, focusing on play-based arts learning to support children's transition from early years learning. And we've improved content elaborations to identify connections across the arts subjects with other learning areas, with general capabilities and the cross-curriculum priorities. We have created a What's Changed and Why document. This document gives you more details about all the revisions we have proposed for the arts curriculum. Take the time to have a look at this document. So now, we're looking to hear from you. It's really important we hear your views. We want to hear all your feedback, positive and negative. Your responses will help us shape an Australian curriculum for the next generation of children. To give your feedback, simply complete the survey. Thank you.